Hi everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. For this week's What Did I Get is a bit of an odd one. So, well, I say odd, it's just um, lots of things that I got from charity shop or thrift stores. So, um, as you, a lot of you are aware, I love to shop in charity shops and I have been very fortunate to find some amazing bargains over the years in charity shops, whether it's been home interiors, clothing, craft supplies. I just love them. So, I recently had... Um, over the weekend popped out and went to some charity shops locally and this one I grabbed which I thought was great it was pound for this great big spool and on here is this really nice black ribbon but it's not it's um again I'm really rubbish with the the proper description of this it's fabric it's woven fabric so lots of you in the comments just say what this one is try and bring it up there so you can see the detail can you just make it out there anyway that's what I brought I couldn't tell you how much is on here it's really deep so there is tons and it's yeah black it's just going to be really handy for when I do more masculine projects and monochrome and things like that um, and I'll also use it within my you know sewing and stuff anyway so pound thought that was brilliant originally they were selling it for 16p a meter or 26p it was before that so anyway that was a good buy with that was also this one so this here is from International Trimming, single polyester satin. Uh, this is called Kier Royale Burgundy. There's a hundred meters. Again, you can see it's gone far down, but look inside. <laughs> but it's a really lovely burgundy color. Really do like this. I've oh, just twisted it. Oops, let me go the right way. It must be that way. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. See, it's got a lovely shine to it, really good quality as well, and it's just huge. So I grabbed that one, so that was two pound. Then I picked up myself a embroidery hoop. I've got quite a few of these. I've always got vintage ones. So I've got the real old 60s plastic ones, which are lovely. I've got different pops of colour, and I have them hanging on my wall. Um, and this is a wooden one. I just like the size, and I will be sharing a really fun project using this. So if you do have any embroidery hoops lying around, or you're intrigued, and it's something to put in your craft room, you can put it anywhere in your house, but it's got that craft room kind of look about it, then keep one spare, or if you see one between now um, until I put the tutorial up, and it's cheap, just go into your charity shops. Usually ask as well, because if they haven't got them um, with where like all the wool and the yarns and stuff are, if you usually ask the ladies there, I'm sure there's probably one out the back so yeah really good and that was only a pound so that was another good little buy then I picked up I'll go through that in a moment these here are buttons now there's loads again these have obviously come out of a I, I guess maybe it might have been someone's own stash but I think they've come from a shop maybe it closed down years ago but they are vintage these are really old ones and um the reason I like them is they're not your typical button where you've got the holes kind of on the front these are all covered so they are great for using on your card making you just add some hot glue onto the back and you get beautiful embellishments so just like a brad really um so i've got these blues which are really nice i just thought i don't really have anything like this i've got one with a silver um got a larger one there um pull these other ones there we go i've got the same in the two there and that one so yeah i've got two of each so two of that style and these were 20p each so two of that style and they're metal again really nice quality just for more of those special kind of cards or gift bags and stuff you imagine these on the bottom of all your handles so they look really nice so i've got those blues then i picked up these which i just thought oh there's another blue one there for nautical cards so i have i'm sure i've got them all the right ones yeah look how lovely these are so good and they are this is actually raised you can see there so i've got those two got the three smaller ones and then the yeah again 20p each i just thought they were really nice they're gonna look lovely on you know blue white and red cards how lovely would they look with like your die cuts and things so i'm just trying to show you how i see things slightly differently and how i try and bring them into my card making so if you have got any you know charity shops locally or you've got a big button box have a little look through and see how you can you know use those things but there's those that same style as the blue again in that like burgundy color so already you can see here i could use this burgundy ribbon how lovely will that look on a card with some lovely pattern card stock a nice happy birthday sentiment some die cut flowers and you've got a really pretty card so 
again, yeah, that's how my mind works. You, a lot of you always message me saying, how do you think up these ideas and stuff? It, my inspiration comes from many places. Um, then I got these, again, really nice, kind of, you could use them as a nautical thing, but I think they're gonna look great on, again, more of a masculine style card. They've got like a shield on the front. Again, there's probably a proper name, if anybody knows, but I've got those ones. And they look like coins as well, which I think is really nice. And then just those plain ones, I thought they were really nice. Um, got a couple of like Mother of Pearl. Um, yeah, that one's a bit plain. And that one's more Mother of Pearl there actually, but again, really nice. These ones here, my nan's got things like this on her uh, cardigans, that's what that reminds me of. But again, really like those ones. And then these were Vogue ones um, and they are fabric. So again, I don't know how well you can see. I'll just bring that up if I bring my light on it a bit better. But they're really pretty and I love that colour. It's really in fashion at the moment. I see a lot of sofas and homewares in this kind of real deep green. So that's that one. So that's Charity Shop. This is still Charity Shop here. So I'm actually working on a few baby projects for some friends. I've got a commission that I'm doing for somebody as well. These were 50p each. Uh, they are by, they're, they're pretty old, I think. Um, doesn't really say any company on those ones. Some of you might recognize this, I, I don't. But um, they're acid and lingam free, so again, perfect for your scrapbooking. But they're just made in China, but they look like they've got a little bit of, they look more like quite 1990s, early 2000s. But these are embossed. I just thought there's some cute little, I'm not so sure on the baby's face, so I'm quite particular with things like that. But I love that bear and the rattle and the dummy, and the teddy there. I think they're really nice. You've got that lovely whale. And then those two there again, I just like the nappy pins. You've got the little rubber ducks here. And I like this trim, which I'm going to use. Um, in the project so they were 50p each again I will share that it will be more of a probably a product share rather than a tutorial um, but that will come over time these I just thought was great I always grab whenever it's five by seven you know five by seven is my preferred um, card size these were two pound fifty I think they actually I'm sure she put this all through and just rounded it up anyway which a lot of them do in the charity shops when you buy a lot of craft bits they just kind of round it off but You've got that colour there. Um, I've got this really nice, like lemon yellow, and these are hammered, so they've got the hammered card effect. Again, I don't know how well you can see a little bit of something on that one. I bet it covered anyway. But yeah, there's a, like a slight hammered effect. So you've got the peach, the lemon. You've got a limey colour. That lovely light blue. I think that's all the same purple. I think there's two, is there two shades? No, anyway, and that like lilac colour there. And then you've got all the matching envelopes and it's five by seven, which I thought was really good because the, the works do this similar kind of colour palette in cards, but they're six by four. And I don't really work with six by four. I just find that too small for me. Five by seven is my perfect size. So I was really pleased to get those nice coloured and they're really strong as well. I reckon it's about 240 GSM. Let's just have a little look there yeah it's a really nice strong weighted card there so you'll see them featuring in up and coming tutorials so that's that and then a couple of new bits i brought so this is craft which you see a lot in the range and in a lot of like more independent um kind of bargain shops so these are new i've not seen this style and i was drawn to this hibiscus it's really lovely so you die cut this one in red and then you would die cut this in like an orange or a yellow and that's kind of the the stem piece in the middle and then you've got these bits that you add to it and on the back here it shows you just how it looks again if i bring that up it actually reminds me of stamping up it's got a stamping up um, look to it and I do have one of the stamps and um, the dies and stamp sets that this reminds me of. But I love the big leaves here, but you can see the hibiscus and then you've got these two little dies here which go on the end. I think it's lovely. Really do like that one. So I've got that and then these are just nice. So I've got that one. I think it's a new little range they've got because they've got one, two, three and four. So I've got these bottom two. I'm not overly keen on the top ones. It's not really my style, but certainly those bottom ones. And I don't think you can have enough of when you know like the foliage style dies they're just perfect to just kind of pop in behind any of the flowers and things that you might use so yeah that's those ones there just thought were really nice and they got you know perfect for christmas as well you know you can make wreaths with these on your cards and stuff so really good they were 3.99 each i reckon these will be or if not are already in the range the works i think they do stock some of this same um company as well and we've got a shop called biology and chaplains which is where i got this from which are more independent um 
shops so yeah really pleased with them and then I picked up these as well so I've got my stamping up big letters I've got my do crafts carnival letters or alphabet I've got my mini fest edition and I've got another small fest edition but I don't have this kind of in between and this is just perfect for putting something like friend on the card without having to use a really really big card um, and then I could have like you know stamp best above it or something like that so I think I'm going to use these a lot more than all of the other ones just because of the size that they are and again 3 99 so yeah they were the kind of dies that I say are like your your forever dies you know you're, you're never going to be not needing to use your alphabet dies they're always going to be needed and anything to do with flowers and leaves I think are timeless so yeah so that was a little bit of a splurge what was that eight twelve pound let's say so and then I picked up this so at the minute what I find I'm always doing is because I use five by seven my mats are four four and three quarters by six and three quarters or four and a half by six and a half so obviously if I'm cutting that from my A4 I don't know I just find that my A4 is going into scrap bin quite quickly so what I've gone is I've purchased this from Chaplin's now they've just got all of this in because this has never been in there before and I'm really pleased I think somebody's maybe been given I don't know the job of overseeing the art and crafts department or um, they need to drive sales in that department because whoever is, is kind of you know sorting it all out has gone and ordered some really nice stuff so what I did is I got these here which is this black A5 card stock so I could mat that now directly onto my 5x7 card if I didn't want to frame or if not I just need to slice a little bit off and a little bit off the side I just found it just it's just going to be easier I'm going to have these on my desk I'm going to take all the packaging off I've got a little plastic tub and I've got all these different colors and I just think it's going to be so much easier for me to just take from that there's gonna be very little waste and nothing going into my scrap so yeah I know you get two of these from one sheet of A4 but what I'm saying is I'm cutting my A4 and then that half piece I'm not using I'm putting into my scrap bin and then I'm not necessarily going to that I just think this is going to be a lot more easier for me so there are a pound each so the black one you get 25 sheets for a pound take that one out there it doesn't say what the GSM is it says it's made in the UK stationery and craft stationery and craft select limited I will look them up and I will share any links that I find below I've never heard from them never rec I don't recognize this packaging but it just says ideal for card designs hobby craft arts and crafts okay I am guessing that that is about 180 maybe 216 GSM yeah that's my guess but it's perfect for mats and layers so I've got a hundred sheets there for four pound I thought that was quite good um, so that's the black I picked up 12 sheets because the prices the, the quantities vary everything was a pound but it's the quantities that varied so this one here is the silver cardstock. I go through silver more than any other mirrored cardstock. Sorry, it's kind of catching there in the, the light. So this is 12 sheets. So again, I just thought that was handy. And then I picked up these. So this is the pastel, and this is a mixed pack. Again, 25 sheets for a pound. And let's have a look here. I think, again, this might be something that maybe you might find in the range, because I know that he buys, you know, a lot of I say he because I'm talking about Chris Dawson the owner because he's local to where I live um, so he's like a local lo local celebrity but um, as in the people that buy for the range this might be something that they would buy in but here you get that nice pink again that's more of a richer yellow to the kind of lemon yellow I shared earlier darker purple so the idea is I want to just get all my kind of different tone so if I now put these in amongst it like already I could have a nice patterned paper and those two purples would work really well together and again with that yellow against that yellow you can see see how my mind's thinking here and even the blues there see you've already got quite a few different shades which is good so again I've got 50 sheets of that for two pound I just think that's really good I think it's good value for money and considering I'm using it for matting and layering this isn't going to be folded I might make the odd little box maybe it's going to be strong enough for that once you obviously you know cover it with some nice papers so that was the two multi colored packs and then I just picked up these so I have spent maybe about 20 pound but I think I've got quite a lot of cardstock I think this is going to last me quite a while 
considering how many, how many times I make things. Now these were 149 and then they re-stickered them with a pound. So this is a slightly different company and I think it's all in French. So anybody or from Europe somewhere, it's, it's definitely French, I'm sure it is. It's Card Deco, again, never heard from them. And it just says here, the art of making Card Deco. So it's saying the colour here is Baby Blau, which is obviously Baby Blue. <laughs> I'm probably killing this. This one here is Giel, Giel, Giel. There we go. Someone please tell me what language this is. That's just turquoise, as we spell it in English. And then orange. Obviously it's orange, but I can't, again, I'm really rubbish. Like I learned Spanish, French and Spanish, but I can't remember now which is which. That's just flamingo, because of Oud Rose. Um, that's obviously light green, but I'm not gonna say it in however it's meant to be pronounced there. Zalm, uh, fuchsia. So some of you will be laughing now going, oh my God, Sam, you're killing it. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then that one there, I mean, should I try it? Guangaligil? <laughs> Anyway, those are the colours I got. Really nice. You get 10 of each for a pound. So I've purely got them because they are the size that I use. Um, and they're going to be able to sit on my desk, which is going to be nice as well. So they're just at hand. So for me, I've got it for ease. And so I get less waste. So there are my crafty buys from this week. I will share as many links as I can or just direct links to the range and maybe have a look and uh, have a browse on those sites yourself. Hopefully you'll be able to pick up certainly this stuff from somewhere, but obviously the charity shop things, maybe not so much in terms of the exact things that I have here, but certainly maybe go and raid your buttons and your embroidery hoop and stuff like that. But yeah, okay guys, see you later, bye.